finally, yeah. Any truth about Ivanovic? Is he likely to leave in, in January or there's plenty of rumours circulating about him at the moment? You're a great rumour, man, aren't you? Well, yeah. I just keep picking him up all the time. It's like a bloody rumour, man. I, I think I read too much, to be I fair. <laughs> People, people try to prepare me at this press conference. I'd have to, re- I'd have to spend all my day. I give up the training and look at all the rumours that are circulating. <laughs> I'm not a rumour person. I'm sorry, Jovanovic, as far as I'm concerned, is a, a Liverpool player will be so until such time as, as he decides he wants to leave or someone comes in and makes us an offer we can't, re- can't refuse. But I think the days of horses' heads are over anyway. A lot more settled now. That this is a lot more settled. I felt that way for quite a long time, really, and. Um, I thought that the club dealt with the, the takeover p- situation quite well as well. When I say the club, I mean the part of the club that interests me, namely the players and the staff. I think we all got on with our jobs as best we could. We, we didn't use it as an excuse. I'm not certain even that we needed it as an excuse. I just don't think we were playing as well at that stage of the year. I think we have got better personally. I think we've got better as a team. I think with all the work we put in, we are, we are getting better. But it's results that count and uh, only the, the results will either make a liar out of me or a, or a truthful man out of me.